Uh, this month, we are talking about tools for healing. Okay, so we're going to break it into five shows. Um, do you have anything you want to say before we before we start? This wasn't something I researched on the internet. Mm -hmm. This wasn't something I read that some psychiatrist or some therapist wrote. Yeah, this isn't a 10 step that we got out of a book or something. No, this simply came from one person's session where, and, and I want people to understand this because this is where the context will come from. Um, she had been in a residential school, so she is an Indigenous woman. She's elderly in the sense that she's in her late 70s, and her request in connecting to her spirit and her guides was simply to figure out why she was going through what she was, what the guides wanted to tell her that she needed to hear at this point in her life. And she was being very reflective on, I'm almost 80, COVID is here right now. Um, maybe things are a little bit more pressing. Mm -hmm. Maybe I kind of want to look at my life a little bit differently and see, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing. And I realize not all people um, think in those ways, or they may know that other people do and don't want to for themselves because they think, oh, I'm only 20. Oh, I'm only 50. I I I'm not near death. But I know that because of what's going on with COVID-19, a lot of us are thinking a lot differently right now. And this toolkit that was channeled from her guides just might have some tools for other people. Good. Okay. So the first thing that we're actually going to touch on is boundaries. Yeah. Um, um, yes. It came up because what was obliterated in her life was the concept of healthy boundaries. Yes. And that in residential schools, the, the ones that she was in, uh, or the one that she was in, um, was run by the Catholic Church. There were priests and nuns. And so what she was taught by them was that there were no boundaries for the children, that the children had to put these humans on pedestals like they were gods in that they could do anything that they wanted, including abuse them severely, mm -hmm. and that the children were not allowed to defend themselves or to defend each other. Mm -hmm. And they were also not allowed to think in certain ways um, or bring their culture or their, any of their own beliefs in, into, their, into their life. And so any of the boundaries that they had learned in their homes and in their culture and with their, their own communities um, were completely destroyed. As you said, they were obliterated. Mm -hmm. So that the, the people that were running the schools, the church and the the political system, the government, um, could do what they wanted. Mm -hmm. And so the very thing that the guides said to her in healing, because that was the focus of her session, how can I heal, was that each time she knows or sets a boundary and enforces it, she is healing that child that was given no opportunity to have any so currently in her life, it was extremely important each day, no matter how big, no matter how small, no matter how, how what it meant to someone else, it didn't matter. What mattered was that it had meaning for her. Mm -hmm. and, and if you are listening, like, please don't tune out if you haven't been involved in a residential school. We're doing this right. for everyone. Um, this is a cheat sheet for healing in life in general. Yeah. So if you were raised to be a people pleaser, if you were raised um, with a narcissist in the home, um, if you defaulted just, you know, not out of being conditioned, but you defaulted to being a people pleaser, these are things that you need to know and do well. Well, 